Welcome back. We're at Stonewater Golf Club, and Jimmy, we're going to finish up the show with some good short game tips. Well, you know, when you get on the swing clinic, we have to cover everything, you know. We've covered a lot today. Uh, so tight fairways. You know, the range here is actually in really good shape at Stonewater, so it gives you that feeling of hitting it off like those really tight fairways. Tight lies are difficult for yeah. a lot of people to hit off of. Chipping kills me. I'm going to tell you, I've been a golf pro for more years than I'm going to tell you right now. And chipping around the greens off these tight fairways, the more that I get a little older, the more I get nervous about it and I struggle with it bad. Okay. Teaching professional here, Bob Bourne has been here for a long time at Stonewater. He's one of the best in the country. He works with me on it. That's how bad I have to take golf lessons on this stuff. So I'm going to pass it on to you. It's like passing right. on knowledge in the world. Okay. So go ahead and set up to it. So typically what we'll see here is that when we're working on chipping, and let's go this way a little bit more. When we're working on chipping with a short shot, we want to get not a lot of body movement going on, right? We just want to hit this just right over this little hill in this direction. So let's get our, our feet a little bit closer together and let's get just so we're not moving as much, okay? Second thing that happens, take it back, Caroline. So what we'll see is you get the club to right here and you get in panic mode, right? Mm. You're like, oh, I gotta get this thing up in the air. Oh my gosh, everybody's watching. Oh, what am I gonna do? So you get that little right hand going and you just stick it right oh. in the ground and it gets very steep, oh. right? You get steep. Or for me, what I do is I'm always trying to keep my hands in front because I wanna make sure I hit the ball first, right? So I don't chunk it. And when I do that, I get steep and the club digs, right? So the wedge is made, right, to, to bounce off the ground for you and help you. So we all know that, the bounce of the wedge. I've talked about it on the show a lot on how we can make it work. I have a drill for you that's gonna help you allow that bounce to work, okay? So what I want you to do is hold on to the golf club just like you're getting ready to hit one, okay? Good, take your left hand off. Not joking, left hand, there we go. Hold it right-handed. I'm gonna move the golf ball for you. I'm okay. not gonna allow you to use it. I want you to take short little pitch swings and I wanna hear the thud at the bottom. I wanna hear the back of the golf club hitting the ground and hitting the grass. So take me some practice swings, make that thud. A little bit more, let them swing. Good, and again. There you go, good. See how you're not digging, you're bouncing? Good, good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a golf ball in there. Oh boy. Dun, dun, dun. We're gonna set a golf ball down. And now let's start with some short ones, just some nice swings. And again, the reason this one-handed thing works is because we're not controlling it or squeezing it. She's not strong enough to really make that club work that way with just one hand, so she's just allowing it to swing. So just allow it to swing. Try it again, one more time. Now where's the ball positioned? In the middle yeah, of the Just like hands? you would with your chip shot. Okay. Yeah, right around middle. Good, good. And the key, Caroline, here is what happens is your transition gets better. So take it back. Again, so your transition, if you're just allowing the club to swing, will just slow down and go from here. So now how do we control distance? Same as we would in a pitch. Let's just get a little bit longer, but let the same thing happen. Get that nice transition right here. Let the swing get a little longer. Real good. Heard a little bit of a thud at the bottom Yeah, right that there, thud, too. that nice crisp sound. That's yep. what you want when you chip. And it's just a drill. Okay, it's just a drill. We're hitting those nice long pitches and chip, chips with that drill. But again, eventually you'll put your other hand on, but you have the same feeling. You'll feel the weight of the golf club because it's just nice tempo and we're allowing, we want to hear that thud hitting the ground. It's right? that tempo, it's that being lighter, a little yep. bounce I had going on. Yep. That's what I need. That's exactly. I get too stiff. Yep, perfect.